It's morning. Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Well, I've been thinking about Barney all morning long. <laughs> I haven't watched Barney since I was like 10 or 11 or something like that. Ain't that crazy how stuff sticks in your brain like that? But I can't remember what I ate last Saturday. How on earth does that make one lick of sense? No sense, right? Mm, mm, mm. So them kids was like, dang, the brownies gone. I think I told y'all that already. Yes, they're gone. Gone to my room. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to make some more brownies this weekend. And they're going to be all for me. Yep. All for me. Yes. I'm selfish. Because y'all don't appreciate nothing. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just really am. I'll make some and give them a few like I did the last time. They don't need all that sugar anyway. Get your life together. <laughs> so why is it like super windy outside? First of all, yesterday it was 90. Day before 90. I think it's like 70 right now and super windy. Got me thinking about the fall already. I am not ready for the fall at all. What are we doing? Where are you going? Stay here summer. See, this is why I want to move somewhere warm. But then, it's like, I think Texas just had a hurricane. I don't want to have to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Hurricanes and rodents and bugs and crazy things that I've never seen in my life. That I think belong in a zoo. Walking down the street in these warmer climate areas. It's just like, I feel like I'm going to be stuck here forever. As far as living. Now, I'll go visit somewhere. But to live somewhere. And to potentially, potentially have something crawling up the toilet and biting my butt. Or I'm taking a bath and it comes out the faucet. Or a polar bear. Not a polar bear. <laughs> a grizzly bear. Open my patio door and come in. Or I can't have no patio door open because an alligator gonna slide on in like I don't want to live like that nothing gets in here in Ohio you know you might have your little bugs in different seasons but as far as like creatures or rodents that's not happening a squirrel's not coming in your house I mean maybe if it's abandoned eventually it might find its way I don't know but Nothing's coming in here. But those other places, things just like do to do to do. Oh, I'm an alligator. I want to come in your house and see what you got cooking for the day. <laughs> or, oh, I'm a bear. I'm going to take a dip in your hot tub. I seen a video the other day. The damn bear was chilling in a tub. <laughs> That's so funny. But, um, I don't know. Y'all know I just be randomly talking about stuff. So, today, I don't know why. I was going to say, I don't know why I, I be so tired. But I don't know why I be tired. I ain't going to say nothing. I be, I, I get, I'm so tired. First of all, I don't go to sleep till almost midnight. And that's because by the time my honey get home, we ain't seen each other all day. So we're just talking and hanging out. And then we sleep for four or five hours. He gets up for work. And then I'm up. Either because um, I can't go back to sleep. Or, um, well, today I did go back to sleep. I was able to fall back to sleep today. So that was good. Then when I was out trying to do a few orders, which it ain't none out there, then I started to um, get sleepy. I've been so sleepy lately driving, and it doesn't even have to be 
nighttime. It can be seven in the morning, eight in the morning, two in the afternoon. And I'm like, I get sleepy. I don't know if it's because that big ass boat I be driving. It's so smooth and comfy. It just like rocks me to sleep. I don't know, but I'm like, this is not safe, child. I do not need to be falling asleep out here in these streets at all. I just distracted myself, but yeah. So, I just do not need to be falling asleep. I don't know why I get so sleepy when I start driving. Maybe that's my sign. I don't need to be in nobody's car driving. I need a chauffeur. Because this stuff is too much. Entirely. So, this weekend, there's a food truck festival. But I don't think I'm going to go. I wanted to go and I was excited they put it back in the same place it used to be before, you know, 2020 crap. Um, but then I was like, uh, nah, I don't know, because I can only imagine how much stuff costs now. And the one thing I hate is trying a new food truck, and that stuff is absolutely disgusting. Oh, that just grinds my gears. Pay fifteen to twenty dollars for something, and your stuff ain't got no seasoning. What is that? Who let you buy this food truck with that and make that a nasty food? I don't make no sense. Um, I do want to go to, I've been wanting Indian lately. I want some, I think it's called Lamb Sag. S-A-A-G. And what else? Oh, the nine bread. So good. I want Indian so bad. I'll be having a feeling to just go to the um, frozen food section <laughs> at Trader Joe's to get it. Because Indian, they, they might be the priciest food out here. Mexican, you can find a couple cheap Mexican spots. But I ain't never seen no cheap Indian spot. They want $20 a head. Like... They ain't got nothing cheap for real. And they want five fifty a piece for their bread. Ain't that crazy? So yeah, I don't know about that. I do not know about that. Um What else I was about to say? What I was about to say. What I was about to say. Nothing. Um, I don't know. I have nothing to say today. It's blank. Blank, blank, blank. I don't know, so I'm just going to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm blank right now. I should have waited until later in the day when a couple more things have transpired, but I didn't. Oh, should I color my hair again? See, I was all on board to color my hair again. Touch up the color until I saw Dr. Barbara O'Neill and a clip of it today. And she was talking about how the dye is damaging to the hair and all of that. So if I was like, dang it, lady. I mean, I already knew that because it's made of chemicals. But it's like, dang. I probably should stop since I want my hair to grow. And then... She was talking about the sulfates in the shampoo, which I, all of that stuff is chemicals that are detrimental to our well-being. <laughs> so it's like you learn this, you know this, but are you going to keep doing what you know is not okay? So I don't know. Let's see, if I get rid of the shampoo, I can't get rid of like the products <laughs> so if the sulfate is bad can I use the other stuff if I negate the sulfate I don't know no, I just love Kenra brand products I love them they smell great they give me great results 
for a day or two. No, they ain't got nothing to do with my results. My results is all on me. <laughs> but y'all know what I'm saying. I don't know. Everything is freaking chemicals. Chemicals here, chemicals there, chemicals everywhere. Yeah. They're just trying to take us out from every angle. And I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Okay. So I'm going to go because I really have nothing to say. <laughs> So smile, cause you're beautiful and love yourself. Cause if you don't love yourself, why would anyone else? Alright. <laughs> Bye.